what's up guys terrence lewis with lewis helps we're here in the beautiful virgin islands the caribbean has called check it out guys i love investing in the caribbean i love buying vacation properties airbnb is huge right now and so i wanted to share with you guys my five top tips that you need to know when investing in the virgin islands right guys i usually do a sit down and share some training but this is a tip because i'm quick i'm gonna do this one quick because it's hot and i want to get to the beach and relax and enjoy why i came so tip number one let's get straight to the training tip number one know your area all right guys know the area that you're looking to invest when you come to the virgin islands there are area specific um things not just the virgin islands the caribbean anywhere that you go and you're looking to invest in real estate you want to know the area right because areas are specific to is that a goat check that out I don't know if you can see down there, but there's a little goat just kind of walking through the forest down there. It's crazy. I love it. There's always something new to see here. Beautiful views, beautiful people, beautiful food. Oh my gosh, I love it out here. Let me get back to the training, man. I'm sorry. I'm so excited. I'm ready to get down to the beach, but check it out. Know your areas. Some areas are great for long-term rentals. Some areas are better for short-term Airbnb type of situations. These are more expensive homes here, hillside with this type of view versus is something a little bit more into the city where you can do more long-term rentals right so that's tip number two right which is know why you're renting your property are you looking for airbnbs are you looking for short-term rentals or are you looking for long-term rental properties all right guys there's some differences that you need to know and consider when buying these type of properties all right guys so keep that in mind specifically do your research based off of your areas and also based off of your type of rental that you're going to be renting. All right, guys, tip number three, cost. Cost, 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 right? And the whole financial situation as it stands, period. Just the whole numbers game is different out here, right, guys? So when you're looking at rental properties in the States and you're looking for a rental uh, home, we do our numbers, we look at our annual costs, we subtract our vacancy rates, we subtract our management, maintenance. You do the same here, but you have to understand when you're looking at income for these properties, it's not broken down where you're renting it out for the whole year, especially for those Airbnb type situations even long-term rental tenants you'll have a, a whole different type of environment here what i mean is you have people that come here from the states or people that come here from other countries and they just want to get away for six months they just want to get away for a year they're not really a long-term tenant so you have to understand there's a lot more vacancy situations here and so when you're looking at an airbnb situation or you're looking at a situation where you're going to do even long-term rentals just understand that you're looking to make the majority of your money in the heightened seasons okay um, you can even do both you can even do short-term rentals um, which is like the airbnb and you can do long-term but not as long-term lease type situation so there's a lot more flexibilities here so make sure when you're looking at your numbers you're not putting yourself in a box and understand what's great what what that property is great for is that property great for long-term rentals or airbnb type situations um the other cost that you got to consider is we're here and we're close to the sea so your pipes your plumbing all your different things are getting a massive amount of salt uh in the air there's a lot of water a lot of things that you have to consider in your maintenance costs so just make sure that you're considering these additional costs when looking at these properties all right guys they've got a thing called wapa out here they don't have water look at this hillside they're not plumbing water up to these properties these properties have collected water systems let me show you right here all right so they've got drainage on all of the roof edges and all the rooftops and they actually collect their water from the rain it rained like 45 minutes ago if you look there there's another rain cloud that will probably drop rain somewhere over there it's consistently raining they're collecting the water if you are in a situation where you have a renter and that water is running low guess who you're paying paying the water company to drive up this hill and deliver you water so understand your logistical costs and different fact variables to buying properties in the islands lastly management that's my tip number four is your property management that's probably your big most careful considered expense that you need to consider because management costs are everything here they will make and break your property so a great strategy to go about finding yourself a great management company is when you get down here 
schmooze and mingle with the locals and also talk to other people here, meet friends. There's other people here that will own property and they may be able to refer you guys to somebody that they use because the property manager is key out here or anywhere remotely from where you live. So make sure that you actually have uh, your hands on the heartbeat of a good property manager. Last, do what I'm about to do. Go have fun. Make sure you make this experience great. The great thing about real estate is this is all a write-off. So enjoy it. Enjoy every minute of this. Enjoy it if it's you and your wife looking for a spot just for you guys to offset the cost uh, so that you can come to these islands and, and basically stay for free. Um, or if you're looking to build some income, enjoy it, guys. I know I'm about to. Thanks for watching, man. This is Terrence Lewis Lewis Helps. For more videos, tips on real estate, helping you guys go further and faster in real estate, you know where to subscribe. Terrence Lewis Lewis Helps, guys. I'm out. Peace.